What is up my legends, it's Scion, we are back. And in the theme of doing different type of content, because content has got stale with Epic 7 lately, um, across the board, everybody's just kind of like copying the same thing. Like how many guide videos are you gonna make? How many five steps to do this type of videos are you gonna make? Like I'm tired of doing it, I'm tired of seeing it and I recommend it, so let's try to do something different. Uh, pretty much this is my team build that I'm using right now. It's called Team uh, Don't Die. <laughs> and is Tamarin, Dian, uh, Bolana, and Clurry works pretty well together because taking out a uh, Luna in this allows me to actually have a whole bunch of shielding, a whole bunch of buffs when I want to have the buffs, passive healing from Clurry, raw healing from Tamarin, and spot healing here and there from Dian as well as well as a lot of synergy in between what goes on with Bogana between her and Tamarin being an idle form that I can actually point DPS. Bogana is doing the biggest uh, heavy lifting in this team because she is the DPS that goes through and does everything. And everybody else just kind of like pecks at the, um, the enemies, but Bogana probably is what the one that kind of like makes this team flow. Because uh, she's a very good AOE DPS and a single target DPS when the target is actually defense broken So she does pretty well when it comes to that and she gets a lot of attacks in on top of that with her focus attack coming in after her single attack So yeah, all right So yesterday was a super success for those of you who did show up and see it if you did not the VOD is up on the a Twitch channel we ended up at 9,980 viewers watching Epic 7 on the front page. I cannot say enough how thankful I am to Twitch for allowing me that honor and them even coming to me in the first place and said, hey, you know, you're one of the black content creators in the community that um, people like and want to support. We like to have you as one of the featured streamers in Black History Month. Now, for that in itself, we come a long way for Twitch to actually reach out and ask me to do that. So I am like so appreciative that people actually paid attention to that and that I'm considered one of the popular black content creators in the world that they even said to do that in the first place. And then I got to actually put Epic 7 up there on the front page of Twitch, like which has never been there before. It's never even had that many viewers watching it before as a category whole. Like Epic 7 has never been any higher than 3,000 total as far as um, viewership on Twitch. Like to have it three times that amount and almost reach 10,000. I wish we could have reached it, but probably like another half hour, hour we probably would have reached it, but it's fine. It's totally fine. I'm totally fine with that. I'm super appreciative that we had so many people come in there. A few famous streamers stopped by. We had um, friends stop by. We had a ton of new people coming in just didn't even know what Epic 7 was about and super interested in what I had going on on the front page that we got so many new people to come and actually play the game. My Discord was just full of DMs like, hey, could you help me play the game? Like literally, when I got out the stream, it was down the list. It, at least was, it was at least 100 people asked me to help them play the game and I talked to every single one of that those 100 people and got them into playing the game some people um don't have PC so we, we gave them the links to the app and Android and it, it was just a really humbling and fun experience to go through and be able to represent Black History Month as a black YouTuber and streamer and put Epic 7 out there on the world stage for everybody to see. That was super fun. I, I can't say enough and thank Twitch enough for um, allowing me to do that, approaching me. And then, you know, uh, I actually told um, Epic 7, one of the GMs that, hey, we're gonna be doing it. You got any links you want me to use? So the, um, the iOS link was straight from the Epic 7 team. And I added the Android link for the Android users. And we got a ton of people in there using those links like i said it was nine thousand plus people in there watching the game and we got so many people into the game and that was the whole purpose of me actually doing it i was going to have uh anthem as the second even for the second hour but it was so lit and, and everything was growing so fast with the actual uh with, with epic seven like being on the front page and so many people liked it and was enjoying it that i just stayed um epic seven the entire time on the front page and it just grew to that 
they had told me to expect three to four thousand to be honest with you guys and i was kind of nervous because they put me on prime time like prime time friday night 9 p.m est 6 p.m pst in front of the world on twitch with epic seven i was like bro that's that's kind of a lot of pressure to put on somebody who's never done that before like i have no problem talking in front of people but i didn't think that it was going to be that many people and it was going to grow that large but i was told afterward um the, um they actually contacted me a few hours later that it was extremely successful and one of the more successful um streams um for black history month and it was non-toxic like super organized and we we had everything in good order we didn't have a lot of trolls anything like that it it couldn't have went any better than it went and we um we set we set the epic seven record mark for the most views in the category and the most views for epic seven stream so like i'm happy for that i don't think anybody's gonna break that anytime soon i, I don't think that's gonna happen so um yeah it, it was cool like I said, thank you to Twitch. Thank you to all you guys who showed up because there was a lot of the community actually there as well who showed up just to you know to watch it and, and have a lot of fun with it. It, it was interesting. It, it was really interesting. I, I'm actually sad that I didn't have somewhat better stuff to show because I was already I'm already done with the, the normal raid. All I have is hell mode and um, abyss stuff, which is what you're looking at right now. I was out of tries for the day and I didn't think about that early in the day. I just did what I normally do when I wake up and the reset and do like all the stuff early so I don't have to do it later and not rushing to do it before the 5 a.m. refresh mark. But again, what you're looking at right now is me taking on the abyss and we're just wanna, we're trying to um, do different content. So I'm doing team builds and you know, builds that I like to actually go in and actually do. Um, with this particular team in general, you see, I have two characters basically that are at the elemental disadvantage, but the fact that they are so passively heal laden and like, it doesn't matter. Like I just pretty much heal right through it and have synergy through this because this is a major elemental disadvantage for Corey and Bolana, but it just kind of doesn't matter. Like you just still go through it. And to be honest with you with this team, I haven't found anything that even with the, the elemental disadvantage, it just doesn't matter. Like they, they just survive through it. Like I had so much fun using this team. So if you have these characters or if you have characters close to it, you could probably get away with doing this. Like you don't necessarily have to have these particular characters, but characters that work in this manner so to speak, you may want to try to um, go ahead and actually go and like do it. Of course, actually having these characters um, be good. And it's actually, I like the fact that one of the specialty change characters is a part of this team. Like, Clary is a character that anybody can get. Like, it's almost impossible for you not to have Clary. And then, uh, specialty changer, you should be able to do that as well. Anybody should be able to do that. So I'm happy with that. And other than the end, um, if I didn't have DN, I would use Angela or Lots, and that would easily be the replacement for DN. Like, I mean, Angelica, I'm sorry, I, I've totally messed up her name. Angelica or Lots, or you can even use Akathis in this. Uh, Destina, Destina used to be in that slot, but Tamarin took that slot, so this is the team, and Tamarin works better than Destina, so works out here and there but going forward i am still going to be continuing to, um to do content uh views for epic 7 is down on youtube and part of the reason for that is that the epic 7 creators like i i wish that it was differently but in the beginning it was just me doing epic 7 like i was the only one covering it then you know showtime doctor started doing epic 7 and then we we started blowing up and then everybody was like, hey you know views and then all of a sudden you had all everybody deciding they wanted to be epic seven fans and doing it when they know damn well they ain't never heard of epic seven in their life and the problem with that is is that people just looked at the videos that we did and just redid our videos they redid my videos redid um showtime and then other people came in like mugatti and uh mango and everything else and everybody just kept redoing the videos over and over again so now is at the point that nobody is doing anything innovative and it's sad because 
the game deserves better than what's going on right now we have so many characters in this game and there should be people making builds on characters people making builds on different teams builds on boss fights like i did the lore video yesterday nobody's doing stuff like that because they're too busy copying the videos that were successful in the past nobody wants to do anything differently and like you guys remember when i did the um the patch notes i was the first one to do the patch notes and do it in a certain manner like and still to this day nobody still exactly copies how i do patch notes right now because i guess they would they would get called out on that but they still you still have people who just now everybody does patch note videos when nobody was doing that before nobody even cared about that before but when i started doing it then everybody will still do patch note videos and it's like it's nothing different we need different stuff we need builds i'll give you an example i'm gonna start name calling check out astronox um i think that's how you say his name astronox is doing something different because what he does is he takes different fighters into Wyvern and stuff like that. That's something different. That is something fun. I can respect that. Uh, let's see. Uh, I think TK Valiant is also doing it. He's also doing something like different, like different characters. We need to showcase different characters. We need to show. Epic Seven is about different games and different characters going through different things in the game. So why aren't more people than just like those particular people showing this character, that character? It's because everybody, not everybody, but majority of the people who are doing views right now are view chasing. And it's not, it's not good for the category. Sure, you're getting views. But if you notice with those particular videos is what's happening is, uh, hey, you know, they get 100, 200 likes, something like that. But you notice those, those 40 to 50 dislikes on those videos part of that is because you're doing the same content over and over and over again and people are not stupid the community is not stupid like they see that they see that shit like do something different like how many times are you going to make five ways to do this five ways to do that my best tips for doing this like dog you did that video last month like stop view chasing like do something different like did you like wake up in the morning and spend at least more than 10 minutes thinking of a video idea like that's all i wanted to say to the the epic seven community as a whole like try to at least come up with ideas stand out there by yourself it may not always be successful but stop making over the same fucking videos every week like just because it gets a little bit of views that shit gets old and i'm i'm shocked nobody else is even saying anything about it i guess people are just content with we're getting cheap views and some shit like that but that's not how i live that's not how i live and i don't want the game to go down like that because right now the category is so what i am going to actually do now is we're going to start doing things differently i'm going to start making builds i'm going to start using different characters i'm going to start fighting things a different way and not using like say like not using the end and not using balana and that's why i'm building other characters I, like i built up cirilla i'm going to start using cirilla for things right now i just want to do different things i'm gonna bring back cecilia to actually use her in fights and i uh, challenge adamio actually won the my next uh six star so she's gonna be the next character that i bring in even though she is a popular character i still would like to use her more than right right now i just got luna and i already don't really want to use luna because she's too mainstream right now and everybody knows how to use it and she's also making things too easy so I want to actually put other characters in, even though I'm still for future content going to use Luna because I like her as a character. I'm not going to use her all the time in current content because I want to use different characters. We're going to start throwing Ruzid out there, maybe some Axe God. Like I have a, a ton of characters that I would like to actually use and bring out there. I still never got Bao. I like to use Bao for something like that. Maybe I never got to use Sinebria too in this account i had it in korea but i don't have it in the global version so either way i'll figure it out it will be good so the ruby uh wyvern is pretty much down and majority of this was on auto i just have to take over one time to save Corey because she was going to die if i didn't use the uh the tamarind burn and heal everybody but team is pretty fun if you guys um want to try it out uh if you have the characters to try it out or you can come up with a different team to go about doing that 
but pretty much I think the we're gonna wrap this video soon. I just wanted to talk to everybody and discuss what happened yesterday and how big a success that is and thank everybody who showed up from the channel. We had a lot of people from the legend community. We got a whole bunch of new legends as well. And we're just gonna keep on the ground running. I'm gonna be back to streaming and making it kind of like a hangout for everybody who plays the game. And for new people to come in, like how I was doing this, like people kind of forgot like two months ago, that's how it was. And we got new people who are streaming and there is unfortunate yesterday, like I think somebody tried to accuse me of view botting in the official discord for Epic 7. And I actually came to discord, I was like, bruh, so you just go to ignore the fact that Twitch actually announced me on their Twitter like that I was going to be streaming and what time I was going to be streaming and that's where all these people are coming from it's not like it was only supposed to be three to four thousand people but it just blew up into that like th people like the game I like people didn't even know you could play the game on PC and it just become it, it just became a whole big thing and so many people followed and we got some subscribers to the twitch a lot of people came to my youtube channel and followed the channel it just blew up into a major thing so i don't really understand why people was upset about the game finally getting a major shine on twitch because that was the whole reason why i did it like epic 7 was the reason why i got partnered in the first place like my viewership is 150 concurrent on average with epic seven so like i don't know why anybody was shocked that something like that happened and i have a lot of friends and like i'm popular enough and it's not just with youtube and twitch i'm popular in multiple areas and it's not just me saying it to be boasting stuff i'm just popping in a whole bunch of areas i'm a member of the the video game press like in the world like video game press i don't know if anybody really understands what that means but that's why i get the sponsors on a lot of games and stuff like that more than other people even though other people have higher subscriber counts than me is because they're not press i'm actually video game press and that's where all that stuff comes from so and that's one of the reasons why twitch came to be because i'm known in the industry i'm industry known you can forget youtube you can forget twitch i'm video game industry known and that's where this stuff came from and like i said i'm appreciative of that and it was my pleasure to actually put epic 7 out there for the twitch world to actually see now it's on the map it wasn't really on the map before we were just out there streaming a game that honestly the twitch world didn't know about until last night and now the twitch world knows about that and i'm gonna continue like i hopefully i am because of how successful this is i was told that i'll probably get more front page slots which um hey I'll do it again. Like, like uh, I'll do it again. I'll I'll have Epic Seven on the front page again. If they go, if they're gonna continue to keep giving me slots, especially how successful that went last night, I'll I'll take it. You know why not? Well, why not put it out there? If the world likes it that much, and it's sad because you you know you know like the gaming industry would like this game if they knew more about it but it's a mobile game and automatically because it's a mobile game it gets that stigma of being mobile but i don't want to play no mobile game but last night proved that when people found out about this game and that you can actually play it on pc they liked it now this is basically me right there um this is pre-recorded by the way but this is just basically me right here showing the um my team and everybody in the team and everything else like that and uh, like I said, I wasn't really going to actually use this as a video, but I decided to not just throw away the footage and uh, use it to actually talk about what happened yesterday and talk about what I'm be going to do going forward on the channel. The channel is definitely going to be kind of transcending a little bit because now that um, Twitch wants me to be a little bit more active, I have to actually address that and I have to actually address um, YouTube actually wanting me to go in a different direction too. They want me to be a little bit more active with um, Steam and stuff like that. I didn't actually get a chance to talk with you about that, but that's um, a major development now too. Um, Steam is more intuitive now with YouTube and they want me to actually do more reviews on PC type titles, which is why you start, you saw Kurt Pelts uh, me do that was that was them reaching out to me and asking me if I wanted to be more active in the steam community and Jump on that and we're gonna do that. We're definitely gonna do that So you're gonna see more PC titles you're gonna see more titles on different games and going forward 
I'm going to be transcending in a whole totally different area, not just with mobile, but with everything. And like, I have a lot of stuff to actually do, a lot of work going on right now. And it's going to be fun. You're going to see a lot of videos up on the channel. I'm, I got a lot of work and I got to do a lot of videos now, not just in mobile, but in PC and everything in general. So to thank everybody who stopped by. Thank everybody for yesterday and look forward to more Epic 7 on the front page in the future. It probably won't be like this month or something like that, but I, I, I have been told that i'll probably have another slot another slot coming soon and twitch is very pleased about what happened yesterday so stay tuned and that's all you guys that's the community right there that did that you guys did that not me i just showed up and cut the um the game on you guys did that so be legendary peace